Anthony Johnson. This is the main card, televised, pay-per-view. Anthony Johnson, Yoshiyuki Yoshida. Uh, yeah, uh, Karsten, he doesn't cut from 220 pounds. Let's get that straight. He diets down from 220 pounds. Why people don't understand this. Karsten, you should know better, man. You should know better. Uh, yeah, he he's weighs 220 pounds, got up to, you know, uh, it's stupid, but he did, he, it's what he does. Um, will it be a tough fight for him? Will it go into the later rounds? Um, I can Yoshida within that round, that three rounds, tire him out by getting in and clinching with him and using sweeps and throws. The problem is going to be, one, getting inside, and two, once he gets inside, getting down to the ground, Johnson is a good wrestler. Um, Anthony Johnson, KO, second round. Spencer Fisher, Joe Stevenson. Um, if Stevenson, if I hadn't seen his fight with Nate Diaz, I would say Spencer Fisher probably by decision, uh, possibly a TKO. But Stevenson has been training at Jackson's. Uh, he's learned now to that he's not so much a boxer, and he can use his wrestling. And Fisher has been, I see Fisher putting up a good fight, uh, very technical striker. His takedown defense, not so good. Joe Stevenson, decision. Josh Neer, Gleason Tibau. This fight should not be on the main card. That's the that's number one, um, and you know a lot of people. Uh, this was the top, one of the toughest fights to call for me because, you know, near his fight against Pellegrino he got taken down and controlled, and Tibau can definitely do that. But Tibau did that against uh, uh, Melvin Gillard and still lost the fight. So, you know, lost the fight. Uh, takes him down, passes, gets him out. Takes him down, passes, gets him out. Gillard by decision. Don't even announce the scores. Gillard by decision. Yeah, so anyways. Um, the safe pick is Tabao by decision. I'm going to say, because I don't like Tabao's style, um, he's huge and he's pretty good wrestling and he just doesn't use his jujitsu that well i mean he doesn't want to take risks and go for subs and like and he has been subbed before if you don't remember stevenson subbed him so with a guillotine and he's a black belt so josh near decision might be wrong on that one but i hope i'm not because i like near style uh like your stuff like your style like your moves what the movie that's from but anyways ben rothwell kane velasquez <sighs> wow this fight is kane's biggest test by far by far um you know velasquez when he got in trouble against congo resorted to his wrestling uh he's not going to be able to take rothwell down that easily and if he does uh he's not going to be able to hold him down that easily rothwell's pretty good striker the way Cuts down to 265, taller, so he's heavier. He hits almost probably just as hard as Congo, not as technically good. Um, I really don't want to see either guy lose because I like both guys as fighters. Um, and Kane, he's not going to knock out Rothwell because Arlovsky, it took him three rounds of punching him in the face to finally get a TKO decision, so... You know, Rothwell's not going to go down that easily. And I'm sure Rothwell is in the best shape of his life. I, man, I'm going to go with Velasquez by decision. But don't be, I would not be surprised at all if Rothwell won this fight in either way, TKO or decision. So now let's go on to the main fight of the night. Uh, Lyoto the Dragon Machida. Mauricio Shogun Hua. Let me just say right now that the betting odds are way off, and people get it in their heads that somebody's unstoppable, and it's the Machida era, and all this. He's a good fighter. He's a good striker. Um, 
Shogun is not that big of an underdog. I get it that you like his wax on, wax off, find your inner chi, karate style. He's got a good story. I get it. I get it. Everybody likes the... Everybody likes it, okay? Um, you know, Shogun... Man. It, it, everybody, like... If you were to come up with a style... People were saying, well, T or T's has the, has some of the best style to beat him because he's going to come at him and he's a wrestler and we've never seen him on his back. People saying Randy Couture's because he's, he's going to push him and bully him against the cage. And then people saying, well, maybe an elite striker has a chance. Shogun is both. Uh, he can use his strikes to set up his takedowns, and that's even more dangerous than just a takedown guy. Somebody who's just a wrestler or a judo player or anybody else like that. He can use the strikes to set up his takedowns. Can he use up the, the set of the takedown to strike? You know, um, Shogun, he can counter strike too. Um, it's not like people are portraying like Shogun as like his style is so awful because he just, he's like a caveman and he just comes at you like this and like doesn't have any defense. But, uh, and he's just going to allow. Uh, Machida just to, to, just to sit back and counter him all day. Shogun can counter too. He's not. He's going to be smart about when he attacks. So, um, I'm talking up Shogun. So obviously I'm going to pick Machida. No, I'm not actually. No, I'm not I'm going against the grain. I might be wrong. I might do bad on this card because one, I picked all Rufus Sport guys. Uh, who I legitimately think will win, not just because I train there. Um, and I'm picking Shogun. So I could do, like, terrible on this card, or absolutely more amazing than anybody on the face of the planet. We're going to go with that one. Shogun by submission knee bar. No, Shogun TKO third round. I think he's just more explosive with his strikes, and Shogun has never been, he's been subbed, uh, and Machida's black belt, but he's not going to get subbed by Machida. Um, Shogun has never been TKO'd. Obviously, neither has Machida. He has no losses, but I think it, as far as the striking is concerned, Shogun is the more explosive, explosive, and you could have said the same about Rashad, but, um, I, I don't know, I, for some reason, I just, I, I feel the Shogun aura in this, I feel it, I don't know why, but, uh, Shogun, TKO, third round, uh, those are my picks, um, yeah, I might do... Dream 12 or Sengoku 11 picks or something along those lines. Those are my picks. If you don't like them, yeah, I really don't care. You can write, oh, dude, you're an idiot. Um, your picks are way off. And mostly people will do it after the event. Like, I'm, you know, like they're a genius. Like, how could you not have seen that coming? Ha! <laughs> I guess I'm stupid. I guess. Um, it, you're definitely, you were definitely right after the event. If I can make picks after the event, um, I can almost 100% guarantee that they'd be right. All right. 100% right. I would be 100% right if I made picks after the event. So, you know, anybody can look like a genius afterwards. Anyways, you guys stay metal. Later.